just had a feeling I should start her off with promise of peace. Mm -hmm. And so I did. And then when I was like telling her about the book, I heard her with an interesting voice going like, wow, like she needed it like a lot. And then when I was done, she's like, I really need this. I'm going through this custody problem and everything. And mm. so, um, and so she went inside, went to go see how much is on her credit card. I didn't even tell her how much it was or what the donation base is. And so she went in, saw how much was on her credit card and there was like $10 left. And, I was, and then I told her the donation, like we are leaving on the donation. And so the extra funds that I have covered from other drawers, I had her take the book. So then I called Jordan for the credit card. Mm -hmm. And when we asked for prayer requests, she asked for her daughter to come back and for the custody problem. So, and she was tearing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this one I'm going to record it. So yeah, the last day of canvassing, um, one of the things that's pretty neat about canvassing is that it's not all just about books. We also are able to get uh, contact information uh, from people if they're interested. Um, so we have like a receipt pad, and on the bottom of the receipt pad is a list of uh, services for them, like you know, exercise, free Bible studies, uh, vegetarian cooking classes, or uh, dealing with you know, prayer is uh, like overcoming addictions and stuff like that. So just, uh, not yesterday, but on Thursday, uh, we, we, I was dropped up in an area. I didn't get any books out yet. I came to this one, uh, excuse me. I came to this one house and uh, he, uh, he was already outside playing with his uh, nephew, I think it was, or some relative and his nephew was like, 10 or 11 years old and they were like flying a tide or something and I talked to him and after I went through canvassing one of the books I said oh yeah were you the ones that were out play, playing the kites and you want to try to make connections with people and they're like oh yeah yeah we were out flying that so I showed him the um uh I went through the rest of the can canvas showed him the books and then he didn't seem like he he told me he didn't really have any money uh to pay for but I showed him the, the free services and uh, he looked at that and uh, it made him kind of think a little bit more about, because he was sort of wanting to dismiss me a little bit. But then he started looking at it. And, and there's also, uh, his, his nephew was like right there, sort of being curious and asking him all kinds of questions about, about what I was doing. And he was checking off the lists and he said, oh, I mean, one of them was a stop smoking class. <laughs> the, the kid was like, oh yeah, you definitely need that. <laughs> you smelled up the whole house, man. So this this kid was like, he's like a, I don't know, I guess, uh, I guess what people are not calling him gangster, little gangsters or something. <laughs> and the kid was like just saying, oh yeah, and, and so the kid was looking at it like, oh, this is cool, dad, uh, this is cool. Um, he he called him by his first name, but I think he was his uncle. So hopefully that will be the last time I get to speak with him, maybe through the contacts, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Amen. Yeah. All right. So I got to. So starters, I went to the door, and I started my canvas, and then I heard a kitty meow. For start, I got to pet a black kitty, but then at the end, she didn't want to buy any books, but um, she donated, and so. After the donation, I asked if I could pray with her. She said she was not religious at all, but and she had never prayed before, and she said yes to prayer. Oh, amen. Right. So Alyssa got to pray with someone for the first time in that person's life. It's the start of a new week of canvassing, and it's 66 or 65 or 64 degrees, and the canvassers are freezing. I'm not freezing. You, you two look like you're freezing. Dry. It's not ready now. <laughs> Bethany, what? How did you? What? What do you say about this program? Totally not forced. Anyway, yeah. So, Lexi, that's that's quite enough. Anyway, yeah. No, this is this is a amazing weather for canvassing. So, yeah, go to this. Okay. Positive. Uh, I gotta get this.
this view that we have while canvassing. You see, I've, I've, hold on, Lexi asked me to take a photo too. Oh, it's on record. Oh, it's on record. Just, okay. If you just, you have to help me light up the Minnesota chat. Okay. Yeah, Lexi wants, Lexi wants to show the Minnesota and this is how awesome our canvassing is because we get canvassing with views. And we don't mean views with cornfields, we mean views like that. <laughs> so, uh, we have rocks. Yeah, rocks. Oh, views of this city. Look at that. Look at that beautiful Epic. view right there. So, Minnesota canvassers, come here next year. You'll thank me. We just have an amazing experience. So Lexi decided, me and RJ do the canvas, right? Mm -hmm. My very first canvas and RJ's like new introduction. So we opened it. Sweet girl. And like, what did I say? Oh yeah, she was like all nice and stuff. She was open about it. And then we talked about like she has children and stuff. At a point, RJ started to stutter. And then I filled in for him. I basically did a... Uh, Habits. He did a great controversy, and we were taking turns. And then, if you didn't know the books, Lexi would say it. And then later on, her husband came in, like um, to help and stuff. And then he was talking. Both of them were so open. They're very religious too. And then we got two books. It was the Promise of Peace and Habits That Heal. And it, w it was great. It was experience. We get to talk about like our personal lives and stuff, about like their jobs, our school. It, it, it was awesome. The, it's like the highlight of my day. PTL. But, yeah. PTL. Hop on <laughs> in, Clyde. Oh, she got a whole, a whole sack? Sounds like it. So my dad's like at the spot and he said he went out on like Uber Ski or something. Okay. Lexi, good job. Do you need promise and peace? Sure, where's my phone? I need a peace and Habits. Whose habits was that we handed him? It was mine, right? Yeah, it was mine. Habits. You should record Clyde telling you all about his last story. We just did. We just did. Oh, already? That fast? Wait. Did you Peace about the storm problems. Peace. Ah, sorry. Wait, what is that? What is that? Like bones. Did you just do the house? The house? No. So this house, this front door is up there. Oh, wow. And then the house that I thought I was going to do, I can't just from the other side. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Going until... Oh, well, the big big up now, but the don't want to Going until you meet Becca. Blessings. Look at those brave canvassers going down this hill. Let's see if we can. Um, let's see if we can avoid going over the way down. We're on we're on canvas in day eleven, and yeah, you can actually let's let's do our recap because we we haven't done many stats in this program so far. So so far we've gotten to two thousand seven hundred and thirty nine doors. Yay! We sold over two hundred books and over one hundred and twenty four happies. We've got over twenty five contacts, and that's including three Bible study contacts. I did not oh. update the doors. We pray with 186 people and 60 GC. So we've probably been to we more than 3,000. And pray with more people. All right. Wait, I didn't update the last time. All right, you, you go do that, Lexi. And uh, Bethany, I know, has a testimony from Sunday, I believe it was. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, so. Do you have a picture of it on your phone? Harvard? Yeah, what you got? Um, Show people. So, I was just canvassing this one lady, and yeah. Wow! You want to elaborate? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, I was canvassing her on the books, and I was, I was doing the 4th of July set, and but with habits, I was like, I asked her, like, what does she like to do to stay healthy? 
and she says she likes gardening and she had this really interesting plant by her door and it had some really cool flowers on it and I did never seen a flower like that before so I asked her and she was telling me about it how it, it's called the passion flower and it's from South America and but yeah so we had a good conversation about that and she went in to get some money and she came out with a hundred dollars and decided she only wanted the GC and then she also asked if I would like one of the flowers and yeah so that's what it looks like and then she asked me if I knew why it was called the passion flower and I said no and she says because of the passion of Christ show them oh. show them the flower too oh, all right. Beautiful. I remember you. Testimonies. More testimonies. I know that um, Lexi, Clyde, and RJ have have one. In fact, so Clyde already shared his. Um, I kind of wanted to take either Lexi or RJ alone someplace and have them give me the testimony, and then we'll come back and compare notes, see how different it is. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see how. Consistency. Yeah, consistency. Yeah. <laughs> but it could be a cool object. Speaking of consistency, I said promise of peace instead of peace above the storm. And then we got two books. It was promise of peace and habits that heal. Promise of peace. Yeah, it was peace. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully yeah. that that wasn't like that on the uh, what's it called. The tally sheet because we're using that to keep track of the stock of books. Anyway, it's fine. So no, we can't. I wrote that in his books that he got out. Of okay. Piece. Perfect. Yeah. We got. Can we do that? I think she we did. Even me. Okay. We got somehow. I don't remember. Anyway, so RJ or Lexi, do you want to share it? Which one? Or you both can share it. At the same time. <laughs> yeah. Sure. No. Bruh. RJ, yeah, RJ first, and then Lexi. Um, um the house that the the us read it. Yeah. Um, uh, Stacy, um, Stacy, um, I don't know where to start. Um, six steps to start from. When you walked up to the door, maybe. Okay. Um, this is this is nice that um. Um, she, he said, all right, now uh, I'll explain it very well. You want to share the, the end part? What is that? Oh, that could be helpful. Anyway, just share the, share the end part where they're interested in the... Uh, say, say, um, Objection leading the witness. All right, <laughs> <laughs> um... Um, she, she, we showed her um a few um great, uh, we showed her like the hold her door eyes set, set and, um and she she asked um this is like that or do you got any more so we sh so like we showed her like, basically everything and then she got a piece of the storm and three comps I mean, I'm not uh, uh, habit yeah have thank you um also um so before she got those um she she had her husband come out and um. Um, she and she, she was um uh she, uh she was a therapist in you know, grants um and choir was talk talk about like, okay this is that is therapist and uh, I think she said that um uh, in grants as well so um yeah and then we pray for them I remember the I remember pray for them but I don't but I don't remember if there's anything else. I, I remember the list on your but I can't remember exactly remember. What happened when you walked away? Objection, leading witness. We're not in the court, Lexi. I can lead him. You you were walking away, and the guy the, the guy said something. before you walked. Away. Anyway, they think the guy said something else to you. Uh, oh yeah, now I remember what I wanted. Uh, something else I was saying. See, so, um, they asked us on what school we went. We went to um. So we told 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 them and and um and um they see see um I can't remember. Alright. I can't remember what we said. But um and then um she she started talking about like yeah he 
had several, um, I several, um, like, cl I took several classes and we had, like, like, I don't know, I, I can't remember exactly what they're called, but, yeah, he took several classes and so he's very, very educated. And then he mentioned that he still went to prison. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. This is in nice. fact true. Okay. All right, Lexi, let, okay. let's. So uh, I had Clyde shadowing me at first, and then Jordan was like, "Hey, take RJ too," and then maybe have him hopscotch. But I wanted to see them both canvas, and I hadn't made Clyde canvas anything yet, so I was making. I said, "You two do this door, and I'm just gonna stand in the back and watch." And so they took him minute to decide who was doing what and I think he did intro and then Clyde did habits and then he did controversy. great controversy and yeah they Yeah I'm just gonna do um um on real heroes if they had kids they didn't. Yeah, well okay. they had grown kids but oh yeah. Um so we went to the door. First of all, there was a marine flag in the oh, yard. No, <laughs> so was the and I was like, ooh, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna slap him with that G C um, so yeah, and then we ended up talking to the lady, their names were Bernadette and Jean, the lady was named Bernadette, and she, we showed her like a whole handset, and then she was like, are these, what, she said, what other Christian devotional books do you have, and I was like, ah, so I put down my bag and I showed her like all of them, and yeah, we all ended up canvassing her, and it was kind of weird, but it went well. And she was very, very patient and nice, and she asked us, like, are you sure this, these are all the books? <laughs> and I think she wanted to get all of them, but they had limited cash, and Mobile One was driving out of range. And they heard him say that, so that she was like, oh, and we won't do credit card. Um, but then her husband came out, well, she was asking us which schools we went to, and Clyde was like, oh, I go to school in Grants. And she's like, oh, nice. My husband works in Grants, or he travels to Grants for some of his work. And we're like, oh, what does he do? And he's a, a therapist for mental health. So, yeah. And then, and then he came out. He was on the phone. He, like, came out past us while we were canvassing. He just came out the door, and he was like, what's going on? And I was like, ooh. And then he kept walking. Um, and then he came back. And we re canvassed him on basically everything. And then they both picked a book and he picked habits, saying that he could use it with his clients. And she picked peace. And then they let us pray with them. And then the guy said to never quit, even in the face of adversary. Adversity. I'm pretty sure he said adversary. Adversity? Adversity! That! <laughs> yeah, that. He said that. And yeah, he did also say, he was like, oh man, I have many associates and bachelors and I still went to jail. And I was like, oh, okay. But he was very nice. And uh, yeah. And then he quoted the verse in, in Philippians. Philippians. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yay. All right. Perfect. Oh man, okay. We're here at lunch. Have you had a very delicious lunch, Bethany? What happens if it's breakfast? What did you think of your lunch? It was food. What did you eat? Food. I think that's the only answer we'll get out of her. But anyway, so my canvassers are a little bit crazy. Yeah. It, it was like almost 90 degrees today, which is actually the, the hottest that we've had so far, I think. But uh, they, they've been canvassing in the heat, walking a long way. Look at what they're doing. This is what my canvassers are doing. Well, I think that one's out of bounds, man. But How do you have the energy? So I guess uh, in between serving God, they are serving the ball. Well, that's not that bad. Uh, I'll talk about it. Oh. Well, yeah, 
those are my canvassers. On lunch break, what? they do tennis. Hello everyone, we're actually finally in the church. So thanks so much to the Central South Amethyst Church for allowing us to use their facilities. We're getting support from several churches. Rio Rancho is helping us and Los Ranchos, South Amethyst Church is helping us with contacts. And so it's nice to finally be in the church and be able to train and work from a church. So thank you very much. Bethany, Bethany at least has a funny story that I think should be shared. Mm. It's not every canvasser who gets to canvas the house of Santa Claus. So uh, <laughs> would, you, would you tell us about that one? Yeah, I canvassed Santa Claus mm -hmm. and his wife. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful. Nice. Yeah. Okay. You want to elaborate? Yeah, you want to elaborate? Elaborate. Yeah. Tell us what what you so love. What did I say? I said I canvassed Santa Claus. Okay, well oh, Bethany canvassed yes, the home of Santa Claus, lives right here in New Mexico, who would have thought? Alyssa, I, no, I know you have a testimony from yesterday. <laughs> what? See? Yeah, elaborate. Oh, we're still on the Santa Claus for story. For reactions. Okay, actually, yeah, let's just, Look Clyde can't see it. Clyde might not be able to hear All right, Clyde. Bethany canvassed Santa Claus, so. I don't know if we can get any more elaboration from her. Well, I didn't know that this is the guy who did that. Yeah, they donated, but they didn't want books that they can't read. Mm -hmm. But they were nice. And he was giving gifts. That's Santa Claus. Yeah. You had to live up the last. All right. Let's go over to uh, Alyssa, because she has a, a powerful testimony. I, I thought it was powerful. I thought it was quite nice. So, we canvassed my neighborhood, and so, we canvassed my neighbor. And so, when we canvassed, when I canvassed my neighbor, she was at home the first time, but I, I asked Jordan if I can try one more time, because it's been like the first time she was out for like two years. And so, um, I went back, She's out on the porch with her son, and so I canvassed her, or and I told her that we're gonna give you a free book because of she known me and because of her problems, and so she got a book, but then she started crying because she felt very blessed, and she decided to donate twenty five since her son was there. All right, and then you you were able to give her another book, right? Yeah, she got another book. I got Lessons of Love and Peace Above the Storm and, and a Happies. Amen. Nice. nice. Very wonderful. All right. Let's hear about it. Okay, so um, I, I was um, canvassing this guy. Um, the, see, I, I went to this guy. Um, he was like, sit, like sitting in front, like, in front of his house. And then, and then I like, started canvassing him. And then he, um, he said that um, it's okay if like, I come back another time um, because he's, he, um, he's not the one who lived there. He's just visiting. Uh, and I, I, and I said that we're that we're not able to that we're not able to like come back. Um, so um, and I, um, so I think I left him a receipt and um, um, after, and after um I, that um, I asked if I could pray with him, and he, and he didn't really like see like seen that he wanted to, but he but he agreed and um, after after that um he liked me. Amen. Nice. Wonderful. Thank you, Arjun, for sharing. Hello, Alyssa. You want to tell me about it? So, yeah. We started off. We um, got some... I introduced her to the 4th of July books, mm -hmm. and she was okay on them. And then, so, uh, she wanted me to come in for a glass of water and speaking more about it. So, then... You said yes, and so I went in, and she didn't get anything, but I got to pray with her. Oh, very nice. Praise God. All right. Keep it going, Alyssa. I'm going to do just a little bit of filming like this.
yeah, so it's a blessing. I am very appreciative of Central Church. Now, already books are starting to go out. We got, I heard over the radio, Becca got a GC. I'm on my way to her now. Another my book. Um, then I am going to check out some of the other students that I dropped. And if I get a chance, which honestly, hopefully not, hopefully I'm too busy. If I get a chance, I will, um, I will record a, a SAP of school thought. Let's see, uh, Rebecca is on the left. She's doing, I don't know, she's on the right. That's right. I'll just add that part out. I didn't lose her. Just got confused about which direction she's in. All right, here she is. Just handle this. PTL Becca for that GC. Want you want to talk about it? Later. All right, later. Blessings. Your Heavenly Father, please be with Becca as she goes forward. Watch over her and keep her safe. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I'm gonna stop. Well, I'll, I'll drive by. Jeffrey and Bethany. One thing is my phone connects to my car. So the audio might be very bad. I'm very curious. We're right like right up against the interstate. There's a sound wall. I wanna hear. Can you is there does the sound wall do much? Maybe. Maybe it helps. Probably a lot, a lot. Can we, let's see if we can find Jeffrey and Bethany. Bethany's on the right side of the street. Jeffrey's on the left. Yeah, keep us in prayer, please, as we do God's work. We need it. There are tons of programs going on right now, canvassing programs. We need prayer. And there's Bethany. Hi. Everything going all right? Yeah, I'm just looking for Jeffrey. All right. Keep it going. Blessing. Where's Jeffrey? Let's see. He would have called me, right? He would have been a good being canvasser and called me before going into a house. We shall see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop the recording and check the audio because it might not be the greatest and then this, uh, this format will not quite work, at least with my phone, maybe with my iPad, it's, uh, it will, we'll see, alright, but blessings, thanks for your prayers and you will see some more content now as I cut the editing skills. You want to tell me about it? Okay. Um, so, uh, not this house, but the one next door. Um, <clears throat> uh, it actually wasn't really a Bible study, but she wanted a free Bible. I um, didn't say Bible study. Amen. But uh, she didn't. She she really wanted all the books, and uh, but she said she didn't have like the money to. But I was able to give her uh, answers. And uh, I told, I showed her the website for the books, mm -hmm. and she'd look it up later and try to get them. And uh, I had prayer with her, and she said she's been going through kind of a lot right now. And so I was able to do that for her, and I showed her contacts, and she really wants a free Bible. Mm -hmm. so I, guess, I guess she doesn't have a copy of, a, of her own for some reason, but she's uh, and she's actually a Catholic woman. Mm, so. Nice. And I told her that we'll, uh, you know, get her, try to give her a free Bible soon. And uh, and she also put in like a, a request for her uh, depression recovery. Hello, Rebecca. And, uh, yeah, that's about it right now. All right, amen. Keep it going, Jeffrey. Yep. PTL Rebecca, I'll be there soon.
<laughs> I will leave you on the side of the road. Get in, Becca. Look at those brave canvases should I go. Get in the back? Should I get in the back? Yes, you should get in the back. Right. What is this? <laughs> there is a view of Albuquerque. Top five forty canvassers have finished. Almost finished the third week of canvassing. No! It's the third week of canvassing of fourth week. I've actually lost track. Anyway, there goes Jeffrey. Look at that. Beautiful view. The city of Albuquerque, which we think. Abbasy.